Welcome to Fighting Lady Patriot Basketball via YouTube on JohnCurtisPatriots.com. Alongside fellow John Curtis Christian alum, Robbie Utzer, I'm Kevin Fayard. Happy to have you tonight's broadcast. Tonight, the John Curtis Christian Lady Patriots host the Chappelle Chipmunks in a Division I semifinal, cool, semi-quarterfinal matchup. Uh, all eight seeds had a bye in the open round. So tonight, the Patriots, Lady Patriots and the Chipmunks meet up in the quarterfinals. The winner will take on the winner between the number three seed, Dominican, and number six seed, McKinley. The top half of the bracket has number one, Mount Carmel versus C.E. Bird, and number five, St. Joseph's versus number four, Scotlandville. <coughs> the starting lineups for tonight's ball game. First for the visiting Chipmunks, number five, Harris. Number 22, Guzman. Number 23, Carroll. Number 30, Trosker. And number 44, Dublin. Harris, Guzman, Carroll, Trosser, and Dublin. The starting five for the Chipmunks. For the Lady Patriots, we'll go like this. Number two, Barfield. Number five, Holmes. Number 20, Scriber. Number 21, Laverin. Number 25, Jordan. Barfield, Holmes, Scriber, Laverin, and Jordan. We're going to pause for a plan of a national anthem and an invocation. Again, thank you for joining us on JohnCurtisPatriots.com via YouTube. Tonight we have the John Curtis Christian Lady Patriots taking on the Chappelle Chipmunks in a Division I quarterfinal matchup. I want to first thank our game day sponsors, Richardson Law Group, Swamp Team Weldon, uh, Buddy Taylor's family, Uncle Buff, Cassie Connor, Mama Faith, and Pop EJ, Go Build Constructors, and KRS Realtor. Thank you for all your support for Fighting Patriot Athletics. Lady Patriots, the home team, and all white. And the visiting chipmunks, and all green. And Lady Patriots will be going right to left to start this ball game. We've got, uh, looks like Barfield, number two, tipping it off for the Lady Patriots, and number five, Harris, for the chipmunks. It's a very, very cold night here in River Ridge. The uh, temperature's in the 40s, dropping into the 30s, but it's nice and comfortable here in the gym. And there we go. Opening tip is controlled by the Chipmunks. Number 22, that's Guzman. Takes off a foot and out of bounds. Controlled to the Lady Patriots. Just Guzman lost control from the get-go and drove it off a foot and out of bounds. Lady Patriots take it over here. Holmes into the front court near side. Hands it off to Barfield at the wing. She'll go over to her right, back over to assume it's Holmes. Jordan. Jordan has the ball. I'm sorry. 25 is her new number. I saw the five. No score here in the opening period. 7.40 to go. Jordan comes near side. Back top of the key to Holmes. Far side to Barfield at the wing. 
And they're going to call a lane violation on the Lady Patriots. Said Scriber put a little too much time in the lane, and the Lady Patriots turn it over. 7.33 to go in the first. There's no score. Harris inbounded. Carroll takes the pass in. It's going to be guarded close by Barfield. A little soft press here by the Lady Patriots. The Lady Patriots have swept the previous two games between these two teams early in the season. Carroll comes near side, gets over to Dublin. Back to Carroll. Nice tight man defense here by the Lady Patriots. No shots blocked by Barfield, but he's got it back. Laverne steals it, chunks it down the court. Barfield easily lays it up and in. 2-0 Lady Patriots with 6.55 to go in the first period. Lady Patriots will stay in a press, man press here. Harris has it, guarded closely by Holmes. Gets it over to Carroll, who's picked up by Barfield. Nice pick there by Harris from the free throw line. High arcing shot, air ball. Caught by Lavern and his house, he stepped out of bounds. Turns it back over to the Chipmunks. Guzman will inbound it on the baseline on the right side of the goal. Gets it to double, an easy layup off the left side. Oh, too hard and off the glass. Clear by Scriber. Quickly, Jordan to Laverne. Left side to go. And in. Nice transition by the Lady Patriots and layup. 4-0. 6.20 to go in the quarter. Lady Patriots picking up the pressure with the full court press here. Carroll has it. Coming near side. And the Lady Patriots kind of back it up. They'll, they'll let it get into the front court. Barfield has her man to man. Carroll down the right side of the lane. Kicks it out to. Guzman, long three ball off the glass, no good. Loose ball on the floor, picked up by Holmes. Jordan quickly into the front court. Top of key, backside to Jordan. Three ball from the perimeter, air ball. Laverne with the rebound, no good. Controlled by the Chipmunks, throws it back out. Actually stolen away by Holmes. Barfield down the baseline, puts up a six-foot runner, and she's fouled. <laughs> that, charge, that foul is charged to... Carroll. So at 5.42 to go in the quarter, Barfield will shoot two. Here's the first free throw. Made it. Number four, Cofield checks in for the Lady Patriots. Taryn Cofield. Barfield takes a few practice dribbles. Here's a second shot. Made them both. Lady Patriots six, check one zero, 5.42 to go in the first. Carroll gets into the front court near side. Guarded closely by Barfield. So come back to her left. Steps up side of the perimeter, puts up a 12 foot jump shot off the iron. No good. Loose ball on the floor, run down by Cofield. Quickly into the front court along the far side. She'll take it all the way down herself. Right side of the lane, too hard. Harris clears it for the Chipmunks. She'll hand it to Carroll, who will get into the front court, guarded by Barfield. Now she'll reverse dribble to her left. Picks up a dribble, now she's in trouble. Guzman takes it all the way around the horn near side. And she goes down the baseline, it's stolen away by Kofi, they're going to call jump ball. And alternate possession will turn the ball over to the Lady Patriots. 6-0 is the score, 5-0-4 to go in the first. Lady Patriots with the lead. Jordan hands it off to Barfield, back to Jordan. Near side perimeter, gets it to Laverne, inside the paint, puts up a shot and in. 8-0. And the Chipmunks call timeout, so with 4.53 to go in the first period, it's the Lady Patriots 8, Chipmunks 0. Want to give a shout out to some more of our sponsors, our platinum sponsor, McDonald Law Firm, our gold sponsors, Pelican State Community Services, Bobby Seafood, Lawson Filters and Supply, Garden Memories, Randazzo's Restaurant and Catering, Proud Yogi's Bears, Walter, Bill, and Chris Sanchez, Valerio Brothers Marine Supply, Brenda Harris, CPA, Jet Services, Helm Paint and Supply, Nike, and Raising Canes. Our blue sponsors, Universal Com 1, Friday Night Football, WGNO ABC, Balfour, South Coast Concrete, The Crossing, and LaBella's Catering. Thank you, Platinum, Gold, and Blue sponsors for all that you do for fighting Patriots and Lady Patriots Athletics. 
full court press here by the Lady Patriots. Harris trying to get it, get an inbound. She does. Hands off to Carroll. Carroll's into the front court near side. Lady Patriots standing man defense. Pick up a dribble, gets a Harris inside the paint. Has the ball knocked away, but she gets it back. And Cofield intercepts the pass. Loose ball on the floor to be tied up. And that alternate possession will go back to the Chipmunks. 4.35 to go in the first period. It's 8-0, Lady Patriots. Harris inbounds it to Carroll. Carroll gets a near side to Guzman at the perimeter. Gets a pick from Harris. Gets an inside the perimeter. Back to Carroll. Long three ball. No good. And off the rim and out of bounds to the Lady Patriots. Laver and Wynn bounded right in front of the Lady Patriots bench. And Holmes will get it into the front court. Hands it off to Cofield. Fakes the three ball. Puts up a 12-foot runner off the iron. No good. Gets her own rebound. Puts it up. Oh, it's blocked. Dublin with the block. Guzman into the front court along the far sideline. She's going to take it all away and has the ball knocked out of bounds. Yes, and the Chipmunks will control it. <coughs> Guzman went bound it along the baseline on the right side of the goal. Four minutes to go in the first. Should be a five second call. They don't call it. Dublin gets the pass. Hands it to Trosker. Long shot off the glass. No good. Holmes got the rebound to Barfield, to Cofield. Left side of glass and in. Easy layup. Lady Patriots lead 10 0 with 359. Excuse me, 349 to go in the first. Again, the Patriots playing a man defense here. Carroll gets it into the front court near side. Almost has it knocked away by Barfield. Bounces in trouble. Harris saves her and gives it back to Carroll. Carroll down the right side of the lane, puts it off the glass and in. Nice little layup there by Carroll. 10 2. Quickly, the Patriots come in the front court. That's Holmes. Two minutes, Jordan. Far side. 3.15 to go. Should be 10 to 2. Nice fall shot by Lavern. Air ball. Dublin clears it. Guzman controls it. Now she'll hand it over to Carroll. Three minutes to go. Guzman has a far side perimeter, puts up a high three ball off the top of the backboard, no good. Cleared by Jordan, and it's a double dribble. And the ball got a little too high. Number three, Roche checks in. There you go, the scoreboard's correct now. It's now 10 to two, 2.49 to go in the first period. So number three checks in Roche for Guzman. Harris, to inbound right in front of us. Hands it off to Carroll, and the ball's not out of bounds. So we'll do it again. Literally right in front of us, in front of the scoreboard. Harris will inbound it. Carroll takes the inbound pass. Jordan now picks her up. Two thirty-eight to go in the first. Rose takes it far side of the wing. Looks down low, doesn't have anybody. She'll go to her left, down the baseline, and gets it out near side to Carroll, and Carroll traveled. So the Chipmunks turn it back over to the Lady Patriots. Two twenty-four to go in the first period. It's now ten-two, Lady Patriots. Jordan into the front court, throws the far side to Barfield. Gets it over to Lavern in the corner. Back to Barfield. Back to Lavern. She'll take the three ball off the iron. No good. Run down by Carroll. She'll get into the front court along the far side. Puts up a 12 foot jump shot off the iron. No good. Loose ball on the floor. Gets her own rebound. Now she takes the three ball. Good. Cuts the lead in half. It's now 10 5, Lady Pages. 155 to go in the quarter. Jordan into the front court, barking out some signals. She'll come near side to her left. To Holmes, to Barfield. She'll take the three ball. In, got it back. Nice stroke. 13-5 to score, 135 to go in the quarter. Lady Patriots pick up the full court press here. Harris 
Gets it into Roche. To Carroll on the far sideline. Jordan steals it away from her. And throws it down the court to Holmes. Holmes under control. Gets it to Barfield. Down low to Lavern. Low post. Kicks it out to Cofield. Three ball off the iron. No good. Loose ball on the floor and out of bounds to the Chipmunks. 1-12 to go in the quarter. Back to an eight-point lead, 13-5. Lady Pages lead. Harris inbound it, gets it into Roche. And Lady Pages seeing that little soft full-court press. Roche is trapped on the far side and has it stolen away. Cofield is going to take it all the way herself, lays it up and in. Back to a 10-point lead, one minute to go in the first. 15-5 is the score. Harris gets it in, and Lady Pages knock it away, but Roche saves it. She gets it into front court along the far side. And she's in trouble. Lady Pages try to trap her. Carroll takes it down the lane, kicks it out to Harris. Harris puts a oh, nice block. <laughs> Quickly in the front court come the Lady Patriots. Laverne has it. Free throw line off the iron, no good. Harris clears it with 29 seconds to go. That was home. She just palmed that ball near side on the block of the previous exchange here. Carroll's in trouble. Lady Pages back it off with 20 seconds to go in the quarter. And it looks like the Chipmunks will probably. Settle for one shot here. Carroll is fouled. Oh, they got called. A foul away from the ball on Harris. Turns it over to Lady Pages with 11.7 to go in the quarter. Jordan gets it in the front court. Eight seconds. Cofield far side. Three seconds. So go to her right. Puts it up with two seconds and no good. Got the one quarter of play. The John Curtis Christian Lady Patriots 15. The Chappelle Chipmunks 5. Chipmunks did not shoot any free throws in that first period. The Lady Patriots were 2 of 2. Shooting 100%. Gotta like that. I want to give a special shout out to Coach Tamika Johnson's mom, Miss Veronica Johnson. She's watching us on. YouTube via JohnCurtisPages.com in Dallas, Texas. We understand Ms. Johnson finally got uh, some heat and electricity. Poor thing been freezing up there in North Texas. A lot of people up there in south of North Texas have been out of power for the last four days. I understand she got power. So, Ms. Johnson, I'm glad you're, you're warm and nice and toasty in your house, and thank you for checking in. And just know the, uh, your daughter's doing a great job with Lady Pages. She's doing uh, very, very, very well. Real quick, I want to get some child shell white sponsors. Cypress Point Pain Management, Victor Manning Driving School, Arno Restaurant, Scariana Wholesale Food Distribution, WDSU Channel 6, Moe's Pizza, Iberia Bank, and Waterworks Car Supply. Thank you, white sponsors, for all your support of Fighting Patriots Athletics. About to begin the second quarter here, the Lady Patriots will control, will control the ball. They'll inbound it. On the far sideline in midcourt. Cofield will get it into Jordan. Jordan picked up a dribble, gets it to Schreiber at the free throw line, kicks it out to Holmes near side to Lavern, top of the key. She'll go to her left. Back to Holmes, three ball. Good double. He says her foot was on the line. Two pointer, two pointer. 17-5, 7.34 to go in the half. Carroll into the front court quickly. Guarded close by Jordan, almost had it knocked away. And she double dribbled. She lost control of it. Fell down, I didn't know she tripped herself. And the referee came out, blew what's this? No, she double dribbled. So that turns it back over to the Lady Patriots. 7.32 to go in the half. 17-5 is the score. Jordan gets in the front court, far side. Trying to set up an offense. Gets it to Cofield. Far side printer. Puts a move. Puts up a jump shot. No good. Partially blocked. Scriber tried to save it, but she stepped out of bounds and turns it over to the Chipmunks with 7.15 to go in the half. Number 11 checked in at the break. As in number 12, uh, that's going to be uh, Gutierrez, number 11. And there's a foul on Jordan. Gutierrez will inbound it in front of the chipmunk bench. She'll get it into Carroll. 
And Jordan's going to pick her up. Soft press here. Carroll goes to the left, gets a pick, goes down the left side of the lane, puts up off the glass and in. Nice layup. Jordan gets it back into the front court. 17 7's the score, 6.55 to go in the half. Jordan down the lane, puts up his, oh, nice move, too hard off the glass. Harris clears it. Carroll into the front court quickly for the Chumunks. Kicks it out to Guzman. Should put up a three ball. High arc and shot off the iron. No good. Scriber returned, uh, clears it. Gets it to Cofield. Cofield has it in the front court, and she turns it over. Guzman. Actually, he has it stolen away by Laverin. Back to <laughs> loose ball over the floor. Finally, the Lady Patriots control it. And Jordan says, all right, hang tight. Let's control it. Get everybody reset with 6.20 to go in a half. I couldn't describe that. The ball hit the ground so many times, so I've got tongue twied. But Coach Johnson calls timeout, so 6.15, 6 to go in a half. The Lady Patriots, 17. The Chipmunks, 7. That timeout is charged to the Lady Patriots. I don't have it. There's no timeout now. So both teams are back on the floor. <clears throat> so Laverne will inbound it along the far sideline. Jordan controls the pass, comes near side to uh, Barfield. Caught the pass wide open, but they called a foul on Scriber on the far side and away from the ball, legal pick. Gutierrez will inbound it near side in front of the Chappelle bench. Carroll takes the pass and gets it into the front court. Guzman has a far side wing, fakes a three ball, and she traveled. Mm. So both teams recently have a little, little unforced errors. 6.06 to go in the half. Lady Patriots control it. Jordan into the front court. Again, Lady Patriots going right to left. Barfield has a near side at the perimeter. Back to Jordan. Jordan trying to direct traffic here. Holmes back to bar uh, to Jordan. Three ball in. Drained it. It's now 20 to 7, Lady Patriots. Gutierrez gets it into Guzman. And she'll get into the front court, far side. Has almost had the ball knocked away. Barfield knocked it back, but she controls it. Guzman getting cut off by Jordan and out of bounds. Off of Jordan, off of Barfield's leg. Good job by Guzman saving it. Lady Patriots tried to trap her, and they did. Guterres will inbound it right in front of the Lady Patriot bench to our right. Guzman takes the inbound pass, goes to the baseline. Picks up a dribble, now in trouble, gets it down low to Guterres, but now it's a loose ball on the floor. Should be a tie ball, alternate possession, should go to the Chipmunks. 5.20 to go in the half. Cofield will check in, and now this time the Lady Patriots call a timeout. So with 5.20 to go in the half, timeout charge to the Lady Patriots. Lady Patriots lead it 20-7. to 7. Real quick, let's go give a shout-out to our red sponsors, R.J. Blanchard Benefit Services, Matranas Produce, Elite Epoxy, Progen Financial, Diesel Works, Dapco Enterprises, Smart Tackle, Republic Finance, Integrity First Realty, Brian Subaru, Virgis Rome Architects, and SVN Gilmore au Auctions and Realty. Thank you, Red Sponsors, for all your support of Fighting Patriot Athletics. The winner advances to the semifinals. All eight seeds in the Division I black got a bye in the first round. And at halftime, I'll go through the brackets, give you the seeds and who's playing who, and where the next two rounds are being matched up. Gutierrez to inbound it along the baseline on the right side of the goal for the Chipmunks. Got to be a five-second call. They don't call it. Carroll takes the inbound pass, top of the key. She'll go to her left. Five twelve to go. Now long, long three ball, top of the key, off the iron, no good. Uh, Laverne, excuse me, clears it. She'll take it in the front court herself. Kicks it out to... Barfield in the corner, and they say Barfield traveled. Turns it back over to the Chipmunks. 5.02 to go in the half. Gutierrez will inbound it along the far sideline to Carroll. Pages, Lady Pages have a little soft press here. 
Jordan picks her up at midcourt. Guzman has a near side wing. She'll go to her right. Puts up a 12-foot jump shot off the iron. No good. Clear by Laverne. Kicks it out to Jordan. Quickly into the front court. We have the numbers. Free throw line extended. High arcing shot off the iron. No good. Loose ball on the floor. Run down by Gutierrez. Now she's trapped in the corner. Trapped big time. And knocked out of bounds to the Chipmunks. 4.32 to go in the half. And Gutierrez will inbound it. Along the baseline on the right side of the goal there. And the ball thrown away. Jordan to Cofield. Off the glass and in. Nice job. Putting the pressure on him. 22 to 7. Gutierrez needs to get it in before she gets the five second count. And nice hustle by the Lady Patriots. Dublin checks in for Gutierrez for the Chipmunks. Harris will go inbound it now with 4.20 to go in the half. Lady Page is putting that man pressure on the Chipmunks. They're having a hard time. Now they go with a home run ball to Guzman. Almost intercepted off Laverne's head. Guzman saved it back to Laverne. Here comes Barfield quickly into the front court. 4-4. Four and four. Kicks it out to Holmes. Good. Little 13-foot jump shot. Wide open. G drained it. 24-7 to score with 4.05 to go in the half. Harris trying to get it in. Gets it into Trostler, and Trostler's foul by Laverne. And looks like number 10 for the Chipmunks will check in. That's going to be Vaught, Madison Vaught. <coughs> Vaught comes in, Harris comes out. And Vaught will inbound it in the far corner on the far sideline there. Four minutes exactly to go in the half. 24 7 is the score. Carroll is being picked up by Jordan. A little soft press here. Reverse the dribble, comes near side, gets a pick. Nice pick. And they're going to call block on Jordan. I believe that's her second foul. So Vaud will inbound it to our right, right in front of Lady Patriot bench. 3.48 to go in the half. Close the five second call. And it's stolen away by Jordan. Jordan down the left side of the lane, puts up the shot and in. Has an in one situation. Nice job by Jordan intercepting the pass, setting up the shot and the foul. So with 3.44 to go in the half, there'll be a plus one. Roche, number three, checks in for the game for Guzman. It's now 26 to 7, but the Lady Pages have an opportunity to increase that lead here. Jordan takes a few practice dribbles. Here's a shot. And made it. 20-point lead. 27-7 to score with 3.44 to go in the half. Vaught to inbound it. Lady Pages pick up a full court press. Carroll gets the ball. And she's going to be picked up by Jordan again. Gets it in the front court near side. Reverse her dribble. Gets a pick in the lane. In trouble to Vaught. Top of the key. Back to Carroll near side. Fakes the three ball inside the perimeter. Puts up a shot, nice scoop, no good. Loose ball on the floor, controlled by Laverne. Gets it to Cofield in the front court. Cofield trying to save it. Threw the ball back in bounds to hit Vaught's knee and out of bounds. Harris checks in for the Chipmunks for Trostler. So with 320 to go in the half, Cofield will inbound along the baseline on the left side of the goal. Barfield takes the pass, has it near side perimeter, fires a shot to Jordan, top of the key down low to Laverne, puts out the shot off the glass, and oh, almost had it. I thought it was going to fall. Dublin clears it and hands it off to, oh, poor thing, to Carroll, and Carroll lost control of the ball and dribbled it out of bounds. Turns it over to the Lady Pages with 3.08 to go. Just right off a of foot. Let's go, Cofield gets it inbound to Jordan. 3.05 to go. Barfield has it far side to Laverne. She'll take the three ball from the corner. High arc and shot in. Nothing but net. 30 to 7. 2.58 to go in the half. Carroll into the front court near sideline. Guarded really close by Holmes. Now she'll go back to the. Oh! There's a stolen away by Holmes. Got a little last days ago. Holmes pick her pocket, lays it up off the glass, and too hard. But with 2.43 to go in the half, Holmes will shoot two. Yeah, I've been a couple times here where the chipmunk guards just got a little soft. 
they can have a break, and that's when the Lady Patriots defender just jumps on it, and that's what happened there. Holmes just stepped right in front of her, just took the ball away from her. He has the first free throw, made it. Holmes taking a few practice dribbles. Here's the second free throw. Made them both. 32 7 is the score. Carroll, two minutes, Roche into the front court. She'll go far side to the left side. Picks up a drill. Now she's in trouble. In trouble. Hands it off to Vaught, who saves her. She'll come back near side. Vaught's going to back it up. Throws it down low. Picked off by Laverne. To Jordan. They have the numbers. Lays it up off the glass. And in. 34 7. Harris was open for a split second down low. Vaught tried to get it to her, and that's when uh, Laverne picked it off. 2.13 to go in a half. Carroll into the front court, guarded closely by Holmes. Gets a pick from Harris, goes down the right side of the lane, and she just fell down and lost the ball to bounds. Mm. Poor thing. She got the effort. I mean, she's trying so hard. Just, just lost her balance and fell down. Jordan into the front court quickly. Laverne gets it, goes down the baseline, puts up a shot. No good. Dublin gets it. Might have been partially tipped. Vaught has it. Gets it over to Carroll. They have the numbers here. Carroll's going to back it out in the perimeter here. 147 to go in the half. Now Carroll goes top of the key. Gets a nice pick by Harris. Inside of the perimeter, puts up a high arc and shot air ball. Clear by Laverne. Jordan to Cofield. 12 foot jump shot. In. Drained it. 36 7 with 128 to go in the half. Full court press again by the Patriots. Carroll into the front court. Almost had the ball knocked away. She did. Cofield picks it up. She's going to take it down the left side of the lane. Lays it up off the glass. No, too hard. Loose ball on the ground. Laverin up off the glass and in. 38 7 with 105 to go in the half. Lady Patriots stayed with the full court press. Vaught to Carroll. Almost had it. Stolen away by Holmes. Under a minute. 57 seconds to be exact. Roche has it into the front court. She'll go down the left side of the lane. Puts up an eight-foot runner off the iron. No good. Cleared by Barfield. To Laverin. Off the glass. And in. Nice transition. 40 to 7 with 42 seconds to go in the half. Lady Pages are running away with it here. Roche into the front court. Comes near side. 33 seconds. To Vaught, wasn't even looking, but she saved it in the corner. To Harris at the low post and in. Nice little job there, but credit Vault by saving it. Quickly, here come the Lady Patriots. Jordan just beats everybody down the court, down the right side of the lane, and in. Caught the chipmunks napping. Roche into the front court. And they're going to call a foul on the Lady Patriots with 13.8 to go. 42 to 9 is the score. All right, Carroll inbounded on the baseline on the left side of goal. Trying to get it to somebody. Kicks it out deep to Vaught at the top of the key. She'll come near side. Gets a nice block by Dumlin. Back to Roche. She'll go to her left. Puts up a shot inside the perimeter. Air ball. Dublin got it and in. And she's fouled by Laverne. So with 2.5 to go in the half, the Chipmunks will shoot their first free throw of the ball game. Dublin takes a few practice dribbles. Right hand to shooter. Here's a shot. Off the back of the iron, no good. Loose ball on the floor. Controlled by Vaught and in the corner, no good. So at the one half of play, it's a John Curtis Christian Lady Peaches, 42. The Chappelle Chipmunks, 11. We're quick and do some uh, quick math. Again, in the first quarter, the Lady Peaches were. Two of two for the free throw line, 100%. In the second quarter, the Lady Pages were three of three, 100%. So for the ball game, the Lady Pages are shooting five of five from the free throw line. You got to like that. The Chipmunks had no free throws in the first quarter, and they were 0 for 1 in the second quarter. So they are shooting 0%. 
for the ball game. Lady Patriots led the ball game uh, the first quarter, 15 to five, and then outscored the Chipmunks, 27 to six, in that second quarter. Total dominance by the Lady Patriots. Again, we appreciate you guys listening to us on JohnCurtisPatriots.com via YouTube. This is the Division I <laughs> quarterfinal matchup between the John Curtis Christian Lady Patriots and the Chappelle Chipmunks. Let's go through the seeding like this. The top half of the bracket has number one seed Mount Carmel versus number eight seed Seabird. They will, that winner will play the winner of number five seed St. Joseph and number four seed Scotlandville. Those two winners will play in the semifinals. On the south half of the bracket, number three seed Dominican is taking on number six seed McKinley. And in tonight's ball game, the number two seed John Curtis taking on number seven Chappelle. So the winner of tonight's ball game between John Curtis and Chappelle will take on the winner of Dominican and McKinley in the semifinals. The good news is both the semifinals and the finals will be played in Hammond at the University City Center, excuse me, University Center in Hammond, Louisiana, on the campus of Southeast in Louisiana. So we played there before a few times and been successful. So uh, the score should hold, and the Lady Patriots continue to close this one out. They'll advance to the semifinals in Hammond. Now, here's the million-dollar question. We would love to be broadcasting both the semifinals and finals. We don't know if we'll be able to do that yet due to COVID restrictions with the LHSA. I know we have applied for media credentials. <clears throat> so it is uh, – we're trying. We're trying to, to do it, but uh, we'll know. And uh, once we get the official K, okay, and we know for sure we can call the semifinals and finals, we'll definitely get the shout out. Now, those will probably be radio only or audio only, excuse me, due to contractual obligations that the LHC has with another company. We won't be able to do any video, but we'll do the best job we can to bring you to action and call it as we see it. Real quick, let's go ahead and, well, I've got a few minutes. Let me do a little housekeeping and pay some grocery bills. Let's uh, thank our all of our sponsors again, our game-day sponsors, Ro uh, Richardson Law Group, Swamp Team Weldon, Buddy Taylor's family, Uncle Biff, Cassie Connor, Mama Faith, and Papa EJ, Go Build Constructors, KRS Realtor. Of course, our platinum sponsors, McDonald Law Firm, our gold sponsors, Pelican State Community Services, Bobby Seafood, Lawson Filters and Supply, Garden Memories, Randazzo's Restaurant and Catering, Proud Doogie's Bears, Walter, Bill, and Chris Sanchez, Hilario Brothers Marine Supply, Brenda Harris, CPA, Jet Services, Helm Paint and Supply, Nike, and Raising Canes. Our blue sponsors, Universal Com 1, Friday Night Football, WGNO ABC, Balfour, South Coast Concrete, The Crossing, and LaBella's Catering. Our white sponsors, Cypress Point Paint Management, Victor Manning Driving School, RNO Restaurant, Scariano Wholesale Food Distribution, WDSU Channel 6, Bose Pizza, Iberia Bank, Waterworks Car Supply. Our red sponsors, R.J. Blanchard Benefit Services, Patrana's Produce, Elite Epoxy, Progen Financial, Diesel Works, Dapco Enterprises, Smart Tackle, Republic Finance, Integrity First Realty, Brian Subaru, Virgis Rome Architects, and SVN Gilmore Auctions and Realty. Thank you, everybody, for your support of Fighting Patriot Athletics. we got about five minutes to go here in the halftime. We're going to pause for a little quick break. Just hang tight. We'll be back in about five minutes. We'll bring you the second half action.
Welcome back to Fighting Lady Patriot Basketball via YouTube on JohnCurtisPatriots.com alongside fellow John Curtis Christian alum Robbie Utzer, who's producing tonight's broadcast. I'm Kevin Fayard. Happy to have you. Tonight is the Division I quarterfinal matchup between the number two seed John Curtis Christian Lady Patriots and the number seed Chappelle Chipmunks. I'm about to wrap up halftime here. The Lady Patriots have a big lead, 42 to 11. They led the Chipmunks 15 to 5 after the first period and then outscored the Chipmunks 27 to 6 in that second quarter. And Lady Peters are perfect from the free throw line. 5 of 5. They were 2 of 2 in the first quarter, 3 of 3 in the second quarter. And the Chipmunks missed their only free throw opportunity <coughs> at the ball game as they, they were 0 for 1 in the second quarter. Lady Patriots will be going left to right this time. Again, the Chipmunks in all green. The Lady Patriots in all white. And the winner of tonight's ball game advances to the semifinals to take on the winner of the number three seed Dominican and number six seed McKinley ball game. And both the semis and finals will be played in Hammond at Southeast University. Lady Patriots control it. Cofield has a top of the key. Zone defense here by the Chipmunks. Laverin steps up in the perimeter. 12-foot jump shot in. Nothing but net. The Lady Patriots picked it up right where they left off. They'll go back with a full court press. Carroll has it along the far sideline. Holmes picks her up. The man defense here. Holmes picked up a dribble. Now in trouble. Guzman has it. Comes near side. Goes along the baseline. Kicks it to Harris. Harris almost had it knocked away. Now Harris tries to get to the Gutierrez. 
and has it stolen away. Cofield takes it down the right side of the lane, puts it up off the glass. No good. Clear by Carroll. They have the numbers. Guzman down the right side of the lane, lays up a scoop shot, and he's fouled by Scriber. So it's 7.09 to go in the third. Chipmunks will go to the line. They'll shoot two. And the Chipmunks will put nobody in the lane. So Guzman's all by herself. So if she misses the second one, it'll be an easy rebound for the Lady Pagers. Here's the first free throw. Missed it. Here's the second free throw. Off the iron, no good. Missed them both. Laverne clears it, gets it to Cofield. To Barfield, far side of the perimeter. Looks down low, doesn't have anybody. Picks up a dribble, throws it all the way across court to Laverne. Fakes the three ball to Cofield. She's going to reset it with 6.50 to go in the third. Like a 1 2 2 zone defense here. Three ball from the corner, off the iron, no good. That was a shot by Barfield. Gutierrez clears it. Hands it to Carroll. 6.35 to go. It's 44 to 11 as the score. Carroll puts up a shot in. Nice shot. She was on the line. No three balls, a two ball. 44-13. Cofield gets into the front court. Barfield has it near side the perimeter. Oh, that's the ball stolen away. Trosker blocked it. Got it to Guzman, and then Guzman threw it away. Trying to hit uh, Trosker, who's wide open. And out of bounds to the Lady Patriots, but there's a timeout on the floor. It's going to be charged to the Lady Patriots. 6 7 to go in, in the third quarter. It's the Lady Patriots, 44 to Chipmunks, 13. <clears throat> Again, if you're just joining us on the broadcast, the quarterfinal matchups go like this. The number one seed, Mount Carmel, takes on number eight seed, C.E. Bird. That winner takes on the winner of number five seed, St. Joseph, and number four seed, Scotlandville. The bottom half of the bracket looks like this. Number three seed, Dominican, takes on number six seed, McKinley. And that winner will take on tonight's winner between number two seed, John Curtis, and number, seed, number seven seed, Chappelle. Again, the semis and the finals will be played at the University Center on the campus of Southeastern Louisiana University in Hammond. Uh, the dates will be between March 1st and March 6th. Don't know when the Lady Pages will be playing in that, in that semifinal matchup. What we do, we'll let you know we are trying to do the best we can to broadcast that audio only. But we'll have to get approval. And right now with the COVID restrictions, it's up in the air but we'll keep it our fingers crossed. Cofield will get the ball in the front court. A 1-3-1 zone defense here by Chappelle. Laverne has a near side of the wing. Gets it to Cofield. Puts up a shot inside the lane off the back of the iron. No good. Scriber with the rebound. Kicks it out. Has it stolen away by Guzman. Guzman. She'll take it down the right side of the lane. Puts up a shot. It's blocked. Barfield. To Holmes, off the left side of the goal and in. Nice shot. 46-13 to score with 5.35 to go in the third. Lady Patriots will stay in a little soft zone. No man press here. Excuse me, man press here. Carroll gets into the front court, reverses her dribble, gets a pick from Harris. Gets it over to Harris, top of the key. Harris hands it back off to Carroll. They're going to reset with 5.15 to go in the third. Harris from the free throw line, puts up a shot off the iron, no good, run down by Laverne. Laverne into the front court. Top of the key gets it to Cofield, three ball from the perimeter, no good. Harris clears it. Trosser into the front court, gets it over to Carroll, far side perimeter. She'll fake the three ball, dribbles, puts up a shot, oh my goodness. Barfield blocked and they said he got it with the body, and I disagree with that one. It was just a nice block, but. Referee didn't see it that way, so with 4.52 to go in the third, Carroll will shoot two. First free throws in and out, no good. Number 13, Manjapani checks in as well as uh, number 44, Dublin. 
Guzman and Harris will have a seat for the Chipmunks. Second free throw, made it. 46-14 is the score, 4.50 to go in the third. Cofield into the front court, far side. Picked up a drill, now Laverin bails her out, far side perimeter. Throws a pass all the way near side to Barfield at the wing, back to Cofield top of the key. She'll get to Laverin, far side perimeter, three ball off the iron, no good, run down by Dublin. Carroll will get into the front court. Dublin has it, and they're going to say she walked. <laughs> Kofa has the ball in front court. Near side gets it to Barfield, the wing. Gets it to Holmes in the corner. Back to Barfield. Throws the pass all the way to Cofield, far side perner. She's going to back it out. 4.04 to go in the third. Barfield with a three ball, near side. Nothing but net, drained it. 49-14, 3.45 to go in the third. Carroll gets into the front court. Dublin has a top of the key, almost walked again. Carroll gets the ball, top of the key, reverses dribble. Takes a long three ball, off the iron, no good, clear by Laverin. To Barfield, fires a pass to Cofield on the run, off the glass and in! Nice transition by the Lady Patriots. 51-14 with 3.20 to go in the third. Carroll into the front court. She'll go to her right. Gets a nice pick. Goes down the right side of the lane. Puts up off the glass. No good. Laverin clears it to Barfield. Trying to get the numbers. Barfield has it knocked away. Trosker takes it. And then she dribbled out of bounds. Mm. Good job by the Lady Patriots by cutting her off. Guzman in Liva Carey. Checks in for the Chipmunks. Gutierrez and Carroll have a seat. Laverin inbounds the ball to Cofield with three minutes to go in the third. Barfield has it at the perimeter near side. Looks down low, doesn't have anybody. Fires a pass all the way across court, far side to Holmes. And there's a two ball, and it's in. Her foot was on the line. Two ball, but she made it. 53-14 with 2.45 to go in the third. Guzman now plays point for the Chipmunks to go to the left side of the lane, kicks it out to Trosser off her foot, loose ball, she runs it down, and they can say back over and back. Jordan checks in for the Lady Patriots. Barfield will sit down. Laverne will inbound it right in front of us at midcourt. 53 14 to score, 235 to go in the third. Jordan heads to the Laverne near side perimeter to Holmes in the corner, back to Laverne at the wing. Scriber down low. Well, ball was not the way. Loose ball on the floor. Who has it? Trosker controls it. Now she almost had it knocked away. Stolen away by the Lady Patriots. Laverne off the glass and in. Jordan picked her pocket. Got it to Laverne. Easy layup. 55 14 with 2.05 to go in the third. Guzman into the front court. Goes to her right. She'll go down the right side of the lane. Has it stolen away by Holmes. Just took it away from her. Jordan all the way down the left side of the court. Puts it off the glass. Oh, too hard. Laverne with the rebound. Puts the ball on the floor. Kicks it out to Scriber. To Kofi, they're going to reset with 148 to go. Laverne has it. Has the ball blocked. And the Chipmunks control it. That's Laver uh, Excuse me, that's Dublin. Got the loose ball. And she'll hand it to Guzman with 135 to go. It's 55-14. There's is the score. Missed opportunity by the Lady Patriots there. Guzman top of the key to... Dublin, she'll go down the right side of the lane, has the ball knocked out of bounds, and the Chipmunks will control it. Vaught will check in for Mangiapani for the Chipmunks. 125 to go in the third, 55 14 is the score. Lady Pages dominated all the way from beginning to end. Trosser takes the inbound pass, throws the far side to Vaught. Low pass, can't control it, out of bounds. Just threw it at her feet. Bart couldn't control it. 
Jordan will get into the front court for Hassan. Cofield with a three ball off the iron. No good. Knocked out of bounds to the Chipmunks. They said Laverin touched it last. Barfield will come in for Laverin. 114 to go in the third. Guzman will walk her into the front court. Holmes picks her up. A little soft press here. Three ball. Air ball, actually. Caught by Cofield. Cofield into the front court. Fires a pass. Intended for Holmes, but the chipmunk knocked it away. Lady Pages will inbound along the baseline. It's like Cofield. Carroll checks in for Trosser for the Chipmunks. Cofield will inbound it along the baseline on the right side of the goal. 56.2 to go in the third. Wide open pass is Barfield. In the, excuse me, that's Holmes in the corner. No, it was Barfield, excuse me. And then Chipmunks walked. Turned it back over to Lady Patriots. And yeah, Barfield was wide over to Sean, just hit the rim. The rebounder for, I believe it was... Dublin, she traveled. Jordan controls the inbound pass, gets it to Cofield far up. Oh, that's an air ball. Just missed everything. Caught by Vaught. 43 seconds to go in the third. Vaught goes to her right. Gets it over to Carroll. Carroll down the right side of the lane on the baseline and has the ball knocked out of bounds. They say she stepped the line. Thirty point five to go. Jordan to Barfield. Long three ball off the iron. No good. Run down. She does Cofield. Barfield runs it down. Jordan controls it. Inside lane. Kicks it out to Cofield again. Long three ball. Off the iron. No good. Scriber with the rebound. She'll hand it to Barfield to Jordan. Wide open to Scriber to the right side to go. Oh, too hard off the glass. Guzman into the front court, long far sideline. Almost headed, stolen away. Has it knocked out of bounds? Actually off her foot. Cofield hit the ball, and the ball hit uh, Guzman's leg and out of bounds. Lady Pages control with 3.2. Jordan to Barfield, and she traveled with 1.2. All we need to do is shoot it. Got too fancy and traveled. So we're 1.2. Leva Carey, we have to inbound it. The Chipmunks have to go the whole court. Guzman has it. And she just runs it out. So after one, two minutes, after three quarters of play, there's a John Curtis Christian Lady Patriots 55. Chappelle Chipmunks 14. The Lady Patriots did not shoot any free throws in that third period. It's still 5 of 5 for the game from the free throw line. The Chipmunks were 1 of 4 for the quarter, 25%. They are one of five for the ball game. 20% from the free throw line. The Lady Patriots outscored the Chipmunks in that third quarter, 13 to three. So we got eight minutes left to go here in this ball game. Lady Patriots have been in control all the way. The Chipmunks will control the ball to start the fourth quarter. Harris will inbound it along that far sideline at midcourt. Carroll takes the pass. So go to the right, down the right side of the lane, lays it up and in. We just, we just left her alone. Easy layup. 55-16 is the score. Cofield into the front court near side. Takes a three ball from the wing, misses everything. That's uh, Collins with the rebound. Has it stolen away by Trosser. And Jordan steals it back. Jordan fakes the hole oh, with a Euro step. Fake the pass outside and a layup. Oh, my goodness. Holmes is wide open in the corner. She faked the pass to her and took one of the long, elongated uh, Euro steps around Dublin and laid it up off the right side of the goal. Nice job there. 57-16 to score. 7-10 to go in the ballgame. Harris inside the perimeter. 
Picks up a dribble, now she's in trouble. Almost had a stolen away, and Carroll takes it. And she'll take a three ball, top of the key. Good! Nice shot there by Carroll. 57-19 with 6.53 to go in the ballgame. Jordan gets it into the front court. Throws it to Holmes in the corner. To Collins at the low post. And has the ball tied up. The problem with a lot of these big girls down low, they put the, they catch the ball and they put it down low. And when they do, those little guards go down and clamp on it. And that's what happened there. Collins just should have just kept the ball up high. Cofield will inbound it along the baseline on the, right, on the left side of the goal. Excuse me. Jordan gets it. Perimeter three ball. Off the iron. No good. Run down by Carroll. She'll get into the front court. And had the ball knocked away. To whom? The Chipmunks. Roche inbounds it into Carroll. 6.28 to go in the ballgame. Carroll has it. She'll go down the right side of the lane. Puts up a shot. And she's fouled. Holmes got her, but he says she's on the floor. Laverne will check in for Holmes. So Carroll inbound it along the baseline on the right side of the goal. And her pass is kicked out of bounds by Jordan. We'll, we'll redo it. And it looks like, yeah, there's a timeout on the floor. So it looks like uh, Chappelle calls timeout. So 6.23 to go in the ballgame. Timeout charge to the Chipmunks, but it's the Lady Patriots, 57. The Chipmunks, 19. After one quarter of play, the Lady Patriots led it 15-5. to five. Then the Lady Patriots outscored the Chipmunks 27-6. to six. And that second quarter, take a 42-11 halftime break. And then outscored the Chipmunks 13 to 3 in that third period to lead 55 14 after three. Right now it's 57 19. With 6.23 to go in the ballgame. Carroll will inbound it along the baseline on the left side of the goal. Dublin takes the inbound pass in the lane, has the ball knocked away. Laverne to Cofield. Cofield lays it up high off the glass, no good. Loose ball on the floor by Laverne, puts it up and in. 59-19, 6.05 to go in the ball game. Roche into the front court, guarded closer by Laverne. And she's fouled on the floor. And wholesale changes here by... Chappelle. Cortez, Manjapani, Livakari, Guzman and Vaught come in. Guzman's the point. Got it to Livakari, top of the key, back to Guzman. Dribbled off a foot, but she recovers. 5.45 to go in the ball game. Guzman takes it down the left side of the lane, puts up her runner, no good, but it says she traveled. So it turns back over to the Lady Pages with 5.38 to go. Kevin Thomas checked in for the Lady Pages at that time of break. Laverne has him near side of the wing. Throws a pass far side to Cofield. And we're going to milk it a little bit. Now she takes a long three ball off the iron. No good. Cleared by Guzman. Guzman comes near side. Gets it to Livicari at the free throw line. Kicks out to Vart, far side. Now she goes down the baseline. Now she's in trouble. Jordan has it trapped. And knocked the ball out of bounds, but Chappelle will control it. With 5.08 to go in the ballgame. Guzman will inbound it along the baseline on the right side of the goal. Got to watch a five-second call. Vart takes it. Back to Guzman, far side perimeter with 5.03 to go. She'll go down the right side. Gets it down low to Vaught. Puts it behind off the glass and in. Nice little job there by Chappelle. Worked it down low. Got it. 59-21 to score. 
Kofa has a far sign. Picks up a dribble, now it's in trouble, and Jordan has to save her. Nope, they're going to throw it across court to Laverne. Three ball off the iron, no good. Cleared by, who's that? That's uh, Collins with the rebound and puts it in for two. 61-21 to score with 4.33 to go in the ballgame. Guzman to the left side. Has it stolen away by Jordan. Actually, uh, Manjapani. <laughs> Manjapani stole it back. She pivoted, and then she spun and used another other foot. <laughs> Tried to get away with it, but that was funny. Two pivot feet. They said she traveled. <laughs> she even laughed about it. 4.20 to go in the ballgame. Barfield gets in the front court, gets it near side to Laverne at the wing. Cofield top of the key. Back to Barfield, far side wing. Laverne saves her top of the key. And they got call foul down low on Thomas. Thomas with the push down low. Guterres checks in for Cortez for the Chipmunks. With four or two to go in the ballgame. 40 point lead for the Lady Patriots, 61 21. Guzman at the front court, far side. Oh, picked up a dribble, in trouble, and the ball went off of Cofield's foot. Guzman inbound it, far sideline. Throws a pass to Vaught, wide open inside the perimeter. High arc and shine off the iron, no good. Clear by Lavern. Thomas into the front court to Cofield. Three ball off the iron, no good. Cleared by Vaught. And Barfield, whoop, runs it down and they call a hold on whom? No, a foul on Vaught. So it turns it over to the Lady Patriots. Laver and inbounds it to Barfield with 3.35 to go. Cofield has it far side, gets it over to Laverne, top of the key. Laverin down the lane, puts it down low to Collins, has the ball thrown away. Vaught is fouled by Kofel. Guterres will inbound it. Guzman will control it. Fires a shot to Gutierrez in the lane, has the ball knocked away, but Guzman has it, has it stolen away. Farfield down the right side of the lane, lays it up off the glass and in. 63-21 with 3.04 to go. Two fifty-five to go in the ball game. Gutierrez walks into the front court. Oh, threw it behind her back and then back court, and that's a violation. Mm. Try to dribble behind her back, go left to right, but just... Didn't cut the ball and threw the ball in the backcourt. Turns it over to the Lady Patriots. 2.52 to go. Laverne walks into the front court, gets a near side to Barfield, fakes a three ball. Thomas has a low post. She double dribbled. <laughs> sure did. We turn it back over with 2.40 to go. Scriber comes in for. Barfield. Guzman gets into the front court with 235 to go in the ball game. Gutierrez inside the free throw line. Puts it high off the glass, no good. Guzman runs it down. That's he has it stolen away by Thomas to Laverne. Laverne down the left side of the lane, puts it above the glass, and in. 65-21. Two thirteen to go in the ball game. Guzman to the right side, at the top of the key, gets it to Gutierrez at the free throw line. Has the ball stolen away by Lavern. Lavern into the front court, down the lane, puts up a four foot runner, no good. Gets her own rebound off the glass and in. One forty-five to go in the ball game. Guzman into the front court, goes to her right. Oh, almost traveled, but they didn't call it. But that's okay. 
Vaught has it in the corner. Back to Guzman at the wing. She's in trouble. Gutierrez has it inside the perimeter. Down the right side of the lane. And they're going to say a foul on the floor. Thomas with the floor, foul on the floor. Jordan's going to check back in for whom? Lavern. So a 133. That's what they say. She was an active shooting. Gutierrez will shoot two. Here's the first free throw. Left-handed shooter. High shot off the glass and no good. Loose ball on the floor by Manja Penny. Controls it. Has it stolen away. Jordan controls it. A 125 to go. Thomas, low post, puts up a shot. No good. Caught by Collins, the low post. And she traveled. <laughs> oh, these young girls get a little excited here. They forget what the what foot's their pivot foot. <laughs> it was a 117. We turn it back over. Cortez checks back in for the chipmunks. Number 40. Vaught will play point. She'll come to her left. Gets two man Japanese. She'll go down the right side, uh, the baseline. Fires a pass out to Livicari. High, Arkin shot and in. Nice shot. A 101 to go in the ballgame. 67 23 is the score. 55 seconds in running. Thomas, free throw line. Off the rim, no good. Loose ball on the floor is run down by Guzman. Guzman is. Wow, there's a collision. They didn't call a foul, but. The ball's out of bounds, too, to the Chipmunks. Jordan cut her off. They could have called a block on her, but they didn't. Vaught takes the inbound pass with 42 seconds to go. Vaught down the left side of the lane. Leaves a wide open. Nice layup and in. Good job by Vaught. 67-25 with 33 seconds to go. Jordan gets into the front court near side. We don't need to score anymore. You can just sit back here and relax. Scriber has it in the corner. Fake the three ball. Has it stolen away. Nice job by Guzman. Lays it up off the glass. Left side of goal and in. 67-27. Back to a 40-point lead with 13 seconds to go. Barfield has it. We don't need to score. Just sit, sit on it right here. Five seconds. Three seconds. And that's it. The John Curtis Christian Lady Patriots defeat the Chappelle Chipmunks 67-47. Just bear with us one second. We'll do some quick math. And then we'll do a short, brief post game. The Lady Patriots did not shoot any free throws in the fourth quarter, or, matter of fact, the whole second half. Uh, they were two for two in the first quarter, three of three in the second quarter, and they finished the game five of five from the free throw line for 100%. The Chipmunks uh, shot one free throw in the second quarter, 0 for 1. Second quarter, they were one for four from the free throw line, 25%. And after three quarters, they were one of five. And they were 0 for one in the fourth quarter. One for six for the ball game. 16% from the free throw line. And the Chipmunks outscored, believe it or not, outscored the Lady Patriots 14 to 12 in that fourth quarter. So after one quarter of play, the uh, Lady Patriots led it 15 to 5. Lady Patriots outscored the Chipmunks 27 to 6 in the second quarter to take a 42 11 halftime lead. The Lady Patriots outscored the Chipmunks 13 to 3 in the third quarter to take a 55 14 lead going into the fourth quarter. And then again, the uh, Chipmunks outscored the Lady Patriots 14 to 12. But the final score is the John Curtis Christian Lady Patriots 67, the Chappelle Chipmunks 27. So the Lady Patriots will advance to the semifinals in Hammond. They will take on the winner of number three seed Dominican and McKinley. Of course, the top half of the bracket has number one Mount Carmel versus number eight seed Bird. That winner takes on the number uh, the winner between number five uh, St. Joseph and number four Scotlandville. And then, of course, the two semi winners will meet in the uh, finals. But both the semis and the finals will be in Hammond at the University Center on the campus of Southeastern Louisiana University. We're going to do the best we can to bring that game to you, both of them, if possible. And if we do, it'll be audio only. 
So hopefully, just keep your fingers crossed. Hope the LSSA will allow us to do so. Uh, if we can, it'll be due to COVID restrictions. So we appreciate you guys joining us. John Curtis Patriots.com via YouTube. So on behalf of Robbie Utes, I'm Kevin Fayard. Again, the John Curtis Christian Patriots advance to the semifinals. They defeat Chappelle 67-27. Until next time, go Big Blue. God bless.